Rangers and welcome to Ranger Ruby YouTube channel. In today's video, I'll be going over National Park Week in 2022. Let's go ahead and dive right on in. If you've been on my channel for any amount of time, you've probably already heard about National Park Week. I've already made like three videos on it. So what's the point of making another one? But here's the thing, this year National Park Week is a little bit different and I'd like to go over what is new. So National Park Week in 2022 is from April 16th all the way to April 24th with each day having a different theme. Except unlike the last couple of years, there is not the same themes. They're a little bit different. It's also changed a little bit about its branding and programming. So this year it's focusing on something called Spark Connections. So it's lowercase s, capital P, Park. Spark, get it? It's really focusing on the connections between people and their national parks as far as the social media posts go and what National Park Week's branding and themes are gonna be this year. So April 16th is Spark Discovery, which National Park Week kicks off with a fee-free day and encourages everyone to find something new by visiting a national park, especially one that is close to home, a park you haven't considered visiting before or one you've never realized is a national park. So what new national park are you going to discover? Sunday, April 17th is all about spark creativity and it's about how national parks have inspired artistic expression and creativity for generations and how is it going to express and inspire you. As you can see, this year it's a little bit more interactive with these questions that they're trying to ask people. Monday, April 18th is all about spark collaboration, which is how you get a little help from your friends and it's asking you to meet the many partners that help expand and reach and offer different things to connect to people in the national parks. And Tuesday, April 19th is Spark Innovation, where the National Park Service incorporates the latest technology to support conservation and preservation efforts while consistently working to improve the visitor experience. Wednesday, April 20th is Spark Opportunities, and this is on Workday Wednesday, Workforce Wednesday, they like to do the alliteration thing, where you can learn about the work that they do and the employment opportunities that are available inside the National Park Service. Then Thursday, April 21st is Spark Preservation, where this would normally be Throwback Thursday, where the National Park Service is a leader in partnership and preservation of historic, cultural, natural, and recreational resources naturally, even internationally. So as you can see, this kind of correlates with the themes of the past years on the different days. They still want to keep that going, but they want to make it a little bit more interactive than just throwback Thursday. Friday, April 22nd is Spark Action, which is on Earth Day. And you can look at the environment and health as well as an impact on well-being and vice versa. And then Saturday, April 23rd is Spark Curiosity, which the National Park Service preserves and protects unique places for fascinating stories and unique landscapes. And it wants you to tell what you're curious about and what fascinating things you've discovered in national parks. Then finally, closing out the week in Sunday, April 24th, there's Spark Memories, which generations of visitors have created lasting memories in the national parks, and they want you to share your memories that you experienced there. National Park Week is not just a national park week anymore. It is nine days in which you can post and learn about and see what other people are saying about their experiences and connections with the national parks. If you'd like to find out more as well as the hashtags that go along with each of these things so you can look at or share your own, I'll leave a link in the description down below. Well, everybody, that's the end in today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up and comment down below with your thoughts. I'd love to hear from you. Also, be sure to click that red subscribe button and the little bell next to it to always know to post new videos. Thank you so much for watching again, and I shall see you next video. Bye!